What's up, besties? Today, we are going to be talking about men's luxury trends for spring-summer 2022 that are worth your hard-earned money. Alright, you guys, so we know that luxury fashion does not come cheap. We know that these things can be investment pieces for financial reasons or also investments into ourselves to create the person that we want to be. And so I'm telling you what trends are happening this season that are worth all of your hard-earned money. So if that's something that you find interesting, if you're interested in luxury clothing in general, like, subscribe, comment below, and watch until the end because I need the views, I need the engagement so that my channel can grow and so that I can be the next Kim Kardashian. Okay, trend number one that I find to be kind of an interesting one is flare pants slash straight-legged pants. And I'm not talking specifically jeans, I'm talking pants. So this can be done in several ways, and one way that I would like to highlight, because I think this is the way that I would do it if I were to participate in this trend more, is these Isimiyaki pleated straight leg trousers. I like these because they're giving very like spring summer, like we're getting this nice little like pastel color. And at the same time, it's like a cropped pant. I, as someone who is like five five and a half, cannot do a super baggy jean. I can do like a cropped straight leg pant. I can I can I can envision myself in that. I just can't do like the whole like Balenciaga style pants. But if that is your vibe, okay, fear not, for there are so many other pants available to you. Balenciaga has this pair that I tried on one time. Amazing, delicious, beautiful. I actually did really like that pant a lot, actually, so I guess I'm a liar. But that pant was really cute and I just really liked the whole, like, hiding myself kind of thing. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I feel like we can get so caught up in trying to show ourselves and show our bodies, I guess maybe in the environment that I sort of am coming of age in. I feel like a lot of it is about showing off your body to people. And I kind of like this whole aesthetic of really like hiding it. We have these 50-50 wide leg jeans, which I just think are really, um, I just, it's just interesting to me. And as you can see, they're very baggy. I personally would not be able to commit to pants that are so baggy that they're literally dragging on the floor because can you imagine all of the shit that you would pick up throughout the day like where are you walking where your pants are just dragging on the floor like that to me is a level of commitment that i cannot like i cannot buy two thousand dollar jeans that i'm literally going to be stepping on while walking down the streets of san francisco where literally people are shitting everywhere like and that's a thing there was like some study that was done on San Francisco and like literally like per inch like it has the highest density of like fecal matter on the streets or something I don't know so these pants are a no um, as far as San Francisco goes these logo waistband straight leg jeans that I tried on these are a little bit better I didn't try them on in my size so I didn't get the full fantasy but like if you can get them in your size I think definitely like try them maybe they're like a vibe I like the the tape on the waistband. I thought it was really cute and nice. Another trend that I think is worth all of your hard-earned pennies is knitwear for the summer. So this is basically think like anything that you would think would be appropriate for the winter. Cut off the sleeves and it's summertime baby. Like we're taking it out. So we're seeing a lot of like knitted vests, knitted tank tops, just a lot of knitted everything, also cutouts, but we'll get to that later. Uh, Prada did quite a few of these for their spring summer collection, uh, where they had like open knit tank tops and also like just knitted sweaters that were shaped in the form of like really boxy tank tops. 
Uh, this Versace one that I saw was also really nice. Like, just the whole knitted vest vibe, especially with the V in general, is something that a lot of people are doing. It's very young, it's very Gen Z, uh, especially this one in particular because of all the crazy colors and just the wackiness of it all. It's, it's very Gen Z. I think depending on the country you live in, obviously this trend is not for everyone. I live in Taipei currently, but I'll be moving to San Francisco. So for example, in Taipei, I would literally never walk out into the streets, period. Like once July comes around, catch me inside with the AC blasting 24-7, I'm not going outside anymore, it doesn't exist. But in San Francisco, where a nice summer day is a Taipei winter day, I think definitely this is kind of a nice trend because it might be just barely warm enough to walk out and not need a sweater but it's san francisco so you're always gonna need a sweater so if you can get away with like a tank top but it's like knitted then i think that that would be a really cool option so i would totally recommend this trend to anyone that lives in a more temperate climate for sure the next trend i want to talk about is like large bags and i wouldn't say this is necessarily a trend per se i think that like bags in general. I, obviously we have very popular bags at the time, but all bags are really in trend. And I think that trends for men move a lot slower than trends for women, especially when it comes to bags. I think that I see so many belt bags and crossbodies still, and it's going to take a long time for that aesthetic to really go away, especially because it's so easy to wear. But in response to a lot of the tiny bags that we've been getting on the women's side, a lot of the women's collections for fall winter were showing so many larger sort of duffel style bags and also oversized clutches. So I think that we will start to transition into that a little bit for men. And also, again, we'll talk about this later, but I think there's a lot more of a sort of deviancy from what is considered masculine in menswear in general. And for some reason, a shape like this for so long was considered a purse that a man shan't not wear on his body lest he be stoned to death. But we're sort of throwing all of that away. And so I think for men, totes and shoppers are going to be a lot more popular because they are just so useful. And sometimes you don't want a whole fucking backpack, right? You just want a fucking black hole that you can throw everything into. So one that I will highlight for this trend is this Balenciaga card tote. Shout out to the guy on floor 18. Um, he is everything I want to be one day. He literally just only wears new season Balenciaga and I live for him. And I saw him like last week with this bag and it was absolutely everything. The texture on it is so beautiful and actually the bag looks like it's like plastic or something but it's made from leather. It's like embossed leather so it has this really cute texture to it and he has just inspired me. I was not a Balenciaga fan um, for such a long time but again, man on floor 18, like you have changed my life and that's the mark of a fashionable person. Okay, and the last trend that is undeniably worth every single penny that you have cutouts cutouts are being very popularized for men and i think it's because as a people we are changing we are evolving we are growing and cutouts for men are literally exploding everywhere like i cannot scroll on instagram without seeing men in cutout speedos cut out underwear like literally everything right cut out underwear we have these like shorts shorts with interesting cutouts it's no longer just like you get a slit at the knee you get a slit at the knee and that's all you get as a man no i need more i need more cutouts versace spring summer they had this tank top that i would dare not try on for i fear that the fire department would have to literally cut me out of it I don't know why, but that shirt was ridiculous, but the cutouts were so cute because it was a sleeveless tank top, but then below it, cutouts like at the waist. Amazing, incredible, uh, an icon. These Rick Owen shorts, cutouts on the sides, like again, trunks with a cutout, just cutouts everywhere. These Esperges, I don't know who the fuck Castanye is, but bitch, she got cutouts like look like i want to be sexy like you can see the arch of my foot in these espadrilles like i'm showing some skin 
Just cutouts up the ass. Uh, Balenciaga is doing cutouts on their trainers, on their track sneakers. They're doing versions that have cutouts so you can see your socks. Um, sweaters are also starting to have like interesting cutouts. I know for Fendi's fall winter, they're doing cutouts right here and they styled it with a pendant so that you could see the pendant in the cutout. Versace had uh, cutout sweaters for their cruise collection so they had like this like argyle sort of print sweater but where the stitching would normally would be there were cutouts there so just cutouts. D Dion, Dion Lee, I don't know I think it's like an Australian designer very new on the scene but like very popping off and very gen z their whole thing is unisex clothing and they're kind of like the front runners for that because every runway is completely unisex and um on the website i think it's also just all completely unisex and it's you see photos of every garment both on a female presenting model and a male presenting model with a male body type and a female body type and that's so awesome i think but they are doing so many cutouts that I can't even like list them all. Like if you want your shoulders to show, they have something for you. If you want your clavicles and nothing else, they got it for you. If you just want the fucking nipples, they got it for you. If you just want your belly button, they have it for you. If you just want your hips, your spine, and a little bit of your Adam's apple, and everything else is covered up, they have it. It's there. Like they have so many different cutout options, so definitely check them out. Alright guys, so this has been my is it worth it is it worth your money video for spring summer luxury trends let me know if you liked it let me know if you're going to be trying out any of these trends these upcoming summer moments if you did like it like the video subscribe leave me a comment ask me a question let's get the conversation going and i will see you guys on the next video